So I'm editing these cloud pictures and there's a 98 in the clouds. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, wow, what is this? And so I start praying about it and the Lord says, Daniel, Psalm 98 is for you. And when I opened it to read it, which is interesting, it says, sing to the Lord a new song. That's the first line. The cool thing is, is that every day I wake up with a new song. And I just thought that was extremely prophetic and very cool of God. That he would even put a 98 in the clouds where I was taking a picture at. Pretty cool, huh? Makes you feel special, like you're the only one in the whole world that he's talking to. Pretty cool. I sure love my God. Thank you, Jesus. The thing that's cool about Psalm 98 is it goes on to talk about singing to the Lord a new song with stringed instruments like the harp. Um, well, it says harp, and it also says with trumpets and horns. And, man, as a musician, that's, like, very encouraging. Um, I pray and I ask the Lord all the time for new songs, and He's generous. He gives me new songs every day. I wake up every morning with new songs, um, all day long, new songs, uh, constant praise. Uh, whatever I'm doing, if I'm washing dishes or, or, or whatever, you know, just even going for a walk or driving my car or working on something, I get new songs constantly, and um, and it's really really awesome. I I just it's a great, wonderful gift that He's given me with this music and and having spontaneous new songs constantly. Um, it started off uh, back in the 80s. I, I met a gentleman that um, uh, was uh, coming to see a friend and I answered the door and before I opened the door up, this gentleman was on the other side of the door singing to the Lord and I could hear him and I pressed my ear to the door and I listened and I said to the Lord that day, I stood there for a second and I said, Jesus, if you could give me that gift, I would be happier than I'll get out. And so he does. He gives me the gift. But God still speaks through signs, miracles, and wonders. And people want to say that he doesn't. And um, But people that say that are wrong because he does. I know because I'm a walking miracle. I have had two major surgeries on, on my body that God did supernaturally without any surgeon cutting me open. It's also documented. You, you can It's public knowledge. Um, and um, many other miracles have happened. But... The amazing thing is, is that um, God gives us gifts um, that are tailored for us, and He gives us signs that are tailored for us. If I hadn't been a kind of person that loves looking at clouds, I see a lot of shapes in clouds, faces, all kinds of shapes and, and stuff, and and different things. And if I hadn't been out taking pictures in the clouds, I probably wouldn't have seen that 98 in the clouds that day. And I really, I didn't even see it while I was taking the picture. It wasn't until I was editing that I saw it. And uh, my editing tools, where I sit at, my, my desk has my Bible. And so it's sitting right there in front of me. So when God speaks to me, He talks to me a lot through His Word. He talks to me a lot through nature. He talks to me a lot through with His voice. Um, uh, sometimes I get just a knowing. Uh, he'll speak to me even using my own mouth. He'll prophesy back to me and talk to me and encourage me. Um, God does amazing things with us in our lives. And if we're open to, to Him... Um, and, we, and we're really seeking and hungering after Jesus, um, God will reveal himself to us in many different ways. And sometimes they're a little bit mind-blowing to us because, well, quite frankly, the natural mind cannot, it cannot understand or even grasp onto the things of the Spirit. It's foolishness to the natural man or the natural mind because they're spiritually discerned. And if you think about it, I mean, God speaks through visions and dreams. Uh, I get a lot of dreams and visions, and he gives me direction this way, and um, he speaks uh, He speaks through a lot of different ways, but I, I would definitely uh, want to encourage everybody to keep their eyes open, because God is talking to us through everything, um, especially in these last days, and I just would encourage all the Christians, um, my brothers and sisters, to uh, just get as close as you can to Jesus, man, and uh, keep your head up. Get your nose in the Word, too, because I'll tell you what, you're going to find things in the Word that you've never seen before. So remember, God has given us the spirit of adoption so that we may know the things freely given to us by God, things which we also speak, not in words of human wisdom, but in words taught by the Spirit of God, combining spiritual thoughts with spiritual words. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12 and 13. If you're a Christian and you're not studying the New Testament, there's something wrong with you. And I would venture to say that um, you probably don't know Jesus that well at all. Um, because uh, those of us that really do know Jesus hunger after the Word. That's a mark of a Christian. One of the marks, anyway. And um, we want to know what God has to say in that new covenant because it belongs to us. Um, there's things in that new covenant that will blow your mind, Christian. 
And um, I know the world tries to read the Bible and it doesn't understand it. But we do because we have the light. We have the Holy Spirit. They don't. If you look at the words of Jesus in John 14, he says that the world cannot accept the Spirit. It doesn't know the Spirit of God. So it cannot receive the Spirit of God. So it doesn't receive the things of the Spirit of God. And believe me, the Word is as powerful as ever. It's as sharp as a two-edged sword. It discerns the thoughts and intentions of the heart. It cuts all the way down through the marrow and everything. It cuts everything asunder. And it, and it examines. So if you really want to know uh, where you're at in your walk with God, go look at the New Testament. Just start in the book of Matthew and start reading. And I would suggest to pray first and ask the Holy Spirit to open your eyes up and to give you a hunger for the things of God. And when He does, believe me, He'll give you a hunger for the Word. In Jesus' name, I just want to bless everybody with excellent health. And may you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Sayonara. Shalom. Peace. Adios, amigos. <laughs> See ya.